Hello, I'm Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I am going to show you how to change some of the security settings on a Windows 10 box. Now, by default, a Windows 10 system comes with a lot of different privacy settings that are turned on. A lot of different information and apps are automatically approved just by installing the security settings as a default setting and not pre-setting them during the installation of the Windows 10 system. So I'm going to show you how to go into a Windows 10 system, how to find the security settings, talk about a few of the more important ones, and show you how to turn those on or turn those off. So let's go ahead and let's start by going into our Windows 10 system. Now the Windows 10 system that we are running is Windows 10 Enterprise. When we go into Windows, we're gonna go ahead and click on the Start button, and we're gonna go ahead and choose Settings. Now this is a newer version, I guess you could say, of almost like a control panel. Now you can still actually use the control panel. If we wanna close this real quick, I can show you, you can right click and still go into your normal control panel and configure a lot of the different applications that we always have done in the past through the actual normal control panel. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to go into settings and how we're gonna look at our privacy options for our settings. Now, once you open up privacy, you're gonna see under the general where let apps use my advertising ID for experiences across apps. This is automatically turned on. So now my applications that are running can use advertising ID for those applications. Send Microsoft info about how I write to help us improve typing and writing in the future. So as you use and as you type and speak into the actual system, because Windows 10 gives you the ability to, to talk to the system besides typing into the system, it's going to send that information to Microsoft about how you actually type and write so that it can base future decisions on how you type and write. So that would be one I would definitely think about turning off. I would also turn off where I'm allowing applications to have advertising for those apps. Now here, turn on smart screen filter to check, uh, to check web content. That's okay to have on. Let websites provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. What they're basically doing here is when advertising pops up, it's going to give you local advertising. It's going to allow local companies to get your location and give you advertising and content based on that location. So we're going to go ahead and we're also going to turn that one off. When we go to location settings, the location setting here, when location setting, uh, when this service for this account is on, Apps and services you allow can request location and location history. So they can actually get where you've been based on your location histories and based on the, the requests that you make throughout the box. So if you want, you can go through and you can turn off certain things so that they can't use like locations. Now obviously, Things like MSN weather, you're probably going to want that one to be on because you want MSN to know your local area if you want to do that. Windows camera, this is one of the worst things that you can actually have a location setting for. This actually can embed GPS coordinates into pictures that you take using this Windows camera. There are hacker software packages out there where they can open that up and see exactly where that picture was taken. So, for example, 
Let's say you have a young child that's playing with Windows 10. All right, young teenager. And they take a picture from their bedroom. Nothing bad, just taking a picture and they paste it on Facebook. If location services was turned on, people would be able to actually use that picture and find out the GPS coordinates of exactly where they took that picture. This has been a huge controversy that has been in the news. It's been throughout the industry. So this is a decision that you're going to have to make. But I tell, I tell you right now, in my household, on all my phones, because this is also a setting that's on your smartphones, I turn location settings for pictures off. When you take a picture, you definitely do not want anybody to know where that picture was taken from. So be very, very careful on this particular uh, setting here. So. so that's another one that you want to make sure. So here it is off. We're going to leave that off. Now, if you want, you can just turn off location setting from the get-go and not worry about it. Camera. Here's where you can actually use and set up some of your camera privacy. Saying here, allow apps to use my camera. Now, yes, I understand that you may want to have some apps like Skype use your camera. But, Microsoft Edge, that is the newest version of Internet Explorer. Do you want Internet Explorer to be able to take over and use your camera? One note, this is an actual area that Microsoft gives you out on the website. Do you want that to have control of your camera? So again, I'm not going to allow applications to use my camera automatically. Microphone, same thing. Do you want to allow your microphone to be on automatically and let apps use that microphone? Again, right now I would turn that off. If you have applications down the road where you're going to want to use a microphone, then you can choose to turn those on. But, in general, for privacy, I do not want them on by default. Speech, inking, and typing. Now, one of the biggest things at Microsoft, the advantages of Windows 10, is Windows 10 Cortana. Now, Cortana is a system so that you can talk to your device, and it'll help you by you speaking to the device. Now, if you want that turned off, you choose stop getting to know me. By clicking this, it'll actually turn off the Cortana. Now, if you ever want to turn it back on, again, you can just say get to know me. Under account information, do I want to let my apps access my name, picture, and other account information? Again, I'm going to turn this off by default. Now, just to let you know, none of these were turned on after I installed Windows 10. These are all the default settings that we are looking at right now. Under contacts, it'll actually show how your contacts are used. Do you want apps to be able to use your contacts? Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. Do I want Windows to be able to use my contacts? Okay, I understand mail being able to use contacts, but Windows shell and apps Ah, that's a decision that, again, especially if this is a corporate machine, you don't want that corporate information getting out there all on its own. Calendar. Am I going to allow applications to access my calendar? That's something you can decide if you want to use calendar. Messaging. Again, this is also choose how applications read or send messages. Am I going to allow apps to read and send messages from this system. Now this is a corporate system, so I'm going to turn that off. One of the most unsecure things on a Windows system is the actual text between the systems. If you have actually any, they have all kinds of different texting applications out there. Turning on these texting applications so that people can talk to each other while they're at work opens up security loopholes within your network. They are some of the most unsecure things that you can set up. 
So think very carefully before you allow Instant Messenger and any of these messaging systems to be working on your system. Radios. We can go in and actually set up if they're going to allow applications to actually use radios. So like internet radio and different types. We're going to go to other devices. Now this will go in and show you some other devices like sync with devices. I can choose which apps are going to sync with the devices. For example, Xbox, TV, projectors. Now in a corporate environment you may need to sync with projectors. You may need to sync with TVs. But most likely you're not going to need to sync with Xbox. So again, I'm going to go ahead and just turn this off for now. Feedback. Now, do you want to allow Windows to automatically get feedback from the system? Or do you never want to allow it? So Windows should ask for feedback or do you just automatically allow it? I'm going to say never. I don't want my systems automatically talking to Microsoft. So under basic and usage data, now this is data that gets sent to Microsoft. Again, I want the very basics to be sent. So I'm going to set my basics up here. And under background apps, again, if you want certain apps to run in the background, you can turn certain apps on and off so that they don't run in the background. Now, if you don't mind having different applications run in the background, again, most of these applications, they take up space, they take up RAM, so they could slow. The more applications that are running in the background, the more that your network is going to get, and the more the system is going to get slowed down. Obviously, certain things you're probably going to want to run, but if you look at some of these, get office, okay, I, I don't need get office running in the background. Calendar, you might have a calendar set up, I understand that. Groove music, I'm not going to allow music to run in the background. Remember, we're talking here about a corporate system. If on your home system you want to allow this, absolutely. But on a corporate system, do I want maps to run in the background? Do I want Microsoft Edge, OneNote? A lot of companies don't even use OneNote. If you don't, why even have it on? Am I going to allow people to chat in the background? Phone companion. Am I going to allow that to automatically run and run in the background? Am I going to allow photos to automatically run? Am I going to allow Xbox? Again, this is a Windows 10 Enterprise system. Most likely, we're not going to have Xbox in our company. Now, as you can see, we went through and we played with the security settings. Again, these security settings are exactly how they were after I installed Windows 10 Enterprise. I did not change any of these settings before showing this video. So, be aware that a lot of privacy settings will automatically be turned on just because Microsoft is turning them on for you. In a corporate environment, some of these can be a very bad thing. And even in a personal environment like the photos location, that can also be a very bad thing. So take a few minutes either at home or in your corporate network and make sure you know how the privacy settings are on your Windows 10 systems. I am Stormwind Instructor and Cybex author William Panic. I hope you enjoyed this little video on preset security settings, and I look forward to teaching you in one of my classes real soon at Stormwind. Thanks, and thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.